Revelation 1389. From the 23rd and 24th of April 1940. Understanding Spiritual Teaching. Blessing of Spiritual Work. Earthly Needs. Only the deepest understanding of spiritual teaching can be expected where also the will is to be enlightened. For if a man desires to know, then he opens his heart to the one who gives out knowledge, he takes the trouble to think through what he has received and will now also be able to distinguish truth from error, for the one who sends truth to man, wants it to find its way in. Therefore, he will also give the person asking for truth the power of knowledge to see truth for what it is, and to deny everything that is untrue. If man now seeks to penetrate into the spiritual realm, he thereby expresses the will to cultivate his inner life. The separation from matter sets in, it no longer holds him exclusively captive, even though it has not yet been completely overcome. To form the soul is the only task of earthly life, so man pays attention to everything beneficial to the soul, he begins to take the task seriously. It is now also understandable that such a soul is offered help from all sides, that all mature spirits takes care of such souls and gives enlightenment where it is desired. He who is careless and superficial in the work on his soul, cannot be considered by spiritual power as a person who strives for perfection with all his senses. Once man has realized that his stay on earth is not of eternal duration, but he also has the inner certainty that the life of the soul is not ended with the bodily death, then the urge in man will also become stronger to reach a higher spiritual degree of maturity, and he then seeks to penetrate into spiritual knowledge. The recognition of his purpose of life on earth, involuntarily triggers an increased urge to act, for the knowing man consciously proceeds to his completion. The knowing one no longer gropes his way through the darkness, but he walks firmly on a brightly illuminated path. He desires only the light, the truth, the knowledge. And since he desires, he will also have fullest understanding for everything spiritual, nothing will be incomprehensible to him, nothing inexplicable, but everything only a single solution of the hitherto incomprehensible to him. It is spiritual hunger which drives such people to penetrate deeper and deeper into spiritual things, and which is nevertheless satisfied again and again because it is the divine will that food and drink is offered to him who desires spiritual food. And therefore no being, on earth as well as in the hereafter who desires to be led into spiritual truth, goes empty-handed, because this is pleasing to God seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Again and again, the Lord admonishes his own to seek contact with him. He wants to point out to them that they do not strive in vain and that their requests are always fulfilled. For spiritual good he hands out unmeasured, and it will never be a wrong request for the one who begs the Heavenly Father for enlightenment, for enlightenment of his spirit the desire for what is God's, for spiritual knowledge, will be fulfilled at any time, but the desire for matter will barely be met by the divine side, unless the latter is not a hindrance to the former. Do not care for the body's necessities, says the Lord, and again this is an indication that only what the spirit desires, is of value. Because the bodily needs are given to everyone, who only thinks of his soul. The blessing of spiritual work also extends to earthly life and its demands, and there will be less struggle for the one who seeks to perfect himself spiritually. Because the latter recognizes his task, and it is precisely the attainment of this knowledge, that so often requires a difficult earthly struggle for life. So man can now be spared it, if he has gained the knowledge. If man takes care of his soul by his own initiative, God takes care of his life. He provides him with everything necessary and keeps earthly worries away from him, 
as far as this is useful for the advancement of his soul. Amen.